everyone, I'm Miko Fifth, and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite thing. Actually, I, I'm not. That, that was a lie. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about why I hate Christmas. Yay! Well, Miko, how the heck do you not like Christmas? Well, attractive human being, I don't actually hate the entire thing. There's just certain little things that completely obliterate my happy feelings towards it. So I'm going to share those with you to hopefully validate my feelings towards and hope that other people feel it too. So, fun fact about me, I grew up in a Buddhist family, but we still celebrate Christmas with the lights and the food and the festivities and, of course, the holiday gift-giving depression. And through my 12 or 13 years of school, the one thing that I got told every year was, I thought you were Buddhist. And the only problem with saying that, at least to me, is that in America, Christmas has kind of become a fad. In America, at least, Christmas has become this commercialized idea of gift giving and family reunion and Hallmark movies and perfection and less about the birth of Christ and gifts of frankincenses and other stuff and the kings and all of those historically Christian ideas. Christmas music! To be fair, some Christmas music is amazing. The week after Thanksgiving when they start playing it is probably one of my favorite weeks of the year, but there's some songs that are kind of problematic to me. Well, problematic and terrifyingly sad. The first one of the kind of problematic for me at least is It's Cold Outside. I think it's called This Baby It's Cold Outside at least. Uh, but, so my whole thing about that song is it sounds kind of date rape because she wants to go home and he's like, here's a drink, and she drinks it and she's kind of like, wow, this tastes like there's something in it. And the end of the song finishes with her staying there, so I'm kind of like, my parents let me sing along to that as a kid. Why? It's kind of creepy. And then I asked my mom about it and she never actually recognized that, so pro tip, if you want to enjoy songs, don't listen to the actual music. Like, the lyrics of the music, because it will make you really sad. <laughs> On the other side of the spectrum when it comes to Christmas music is Christmas Shoes, because everyone loves that song. And I want, I want one of you to tell me that you don't get sad listening to a story about a little boy who's trying to buy really pretty shoes for his dying mother, because she's gonna die on Christmas and see God. And like, uh, <laughs> Salvation Army. Yeah. This is gonna sound really bad, but they're actually the number one reason why I hate Christmas. They're just standing outside the store of every store and every place that you need to go during Christmas, and I kind of walk by like this because I don't have the money to donate to all of them, but you don't have the money to do it, so like after you've donated your however amount of money, you're gonna walk into the market and then just be like strolling along trying to convince yourself you're not a terrible person donating each time you see them because you're not a millionaire with tax breaks to be honest even if i were a millionaire i would i would still feel bad but i'd still feel bad driving away in a rolls royce so it's not as bad i think to be honest this is something that didn't set in until i was an adult who understood the concept of money but the crippling depression of the holiday season is amazing because like <laughs> like I I've come I've come to recognize that Christmas is just this commercialized idea that you have to buy a gift so you have to start saving the money around like January like right after Christmas from the previous year and by the time it gets to the Christmas of this year you've recognized that you didn't buy any presents so you look at your bank account and you're like oh there's nothing here but you also need to buy presents for your family and friends so that when you go to the Christmas family get-together thing and your older sibling buys a really cool gift that's significantly better than yours, you don't feel like a terrible person, but you're still going to because their gift is better and you're like, wow, what have I done? But they're your older sibling and you don't really recognize that like they had years to have that money and you're trying to catch up. Yay! Adulthood! Oh, the wonders of Christmas, how I love them. I actually really do like Christmas. I know this kind of sounded like I was complaining about it, but no, Christmas is amazing. I get to see my friends and my family that I don't get to see other times of year. And yeah, um, I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, press the subscribe button, and yeah. I am Miko Faith, and you just spent a few minutes of your life watching a panda talk to a camera. All right, see ya.